on. Come on in, baby. We were just waiting on you. Come on. She's trying to walk in like she bow-legged. You ain't bow-legged. Her shoes on the wrong damn foot. That's what it is. You sit your ass down. Try to come. Come in here late. Like, they gonna see me there. <laughs> Y'all, I just got back from New York today, man. As a matter of fact, the club brought me. They brought me way from New York on the Greyhound bus. It wasn't even no up-to-date bus. The bus was so raggedy, the dog jumped out the side and caught a cab. Talking about, the, I, can't, I can't be seen on this shit. I just meet y'all there. Then, they picked me up in the limousine, come to find out it wasn't no real limousine. It was a funeral home limousine. I knew it was a funeral home limousine because when I got inside, the family was still in the crying and shit. We had to drop them off this before I came here, but I'm glad to be here in Birmingham. And I know y'all looking at me like, does he really talk like that? Yes, I talk like this. But I'm a thug, I'm a killer. Do you hear me? I'm a natural born goon. I am so hood. And I don't waste my time like y'all young dudes fight, arguing and stuff. I go on and fight, not because, you know, uh, 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 I'm, 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 a, I'm a man of action. I just don't want to do what I'm fighting with to hear that I talk like this, you know what I'm saying? The only time you hear my voice is when I'm losing the fight. Ah! See, I sound like a on it. That don't make ah! I've been having problems with my voice all my life. I can't even answer my damn home telephone. Somebody called my house, I'd be like, hello, it's like, hey, baby, put your dad on the phone. I am my damn daddy. I'm a mother thug. I thought I told you. That's right, man. That's right. Y'all be complaining all the damn time. Y'all complain about the weather, man. Here, yeah, that's why I thank God I don't have to complain about all that because I work on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Because it was hot this past summer in Birmingham. You know it's hot outside when that, when that Vulcan statue get his ass down and get up under a tree. Now, it was so hot last summer, I saw the Ku Klux Klan marching with short sleeve sheets on. One of them got so hot, he just pulled his hood off. <laughs> Me today, it's hot in the sound, bitch, out here. <laughs> you know how you be walking downtown and you see the police officer sitting in his cool, air-conditioned car? I got so hot, I jumped in the car with his ass. He was like, sir, you're gonna have to commit a crime to ride in this car. I looked at his ass, lit up a blunt and said, man, let's ride. That's awful. Fellas, give it up for the ladies, please. Thank you, thank you. And see, the reason some of these fellas didn't halfway want to clap for you because it's one thing. Ladies, it's 2008. You got to change your damn attitudes. You got to up attitudes. You know who you are. You open up your mouth, you got the personality of a damn grapefruit. Shut the hell up. I had to go off on one back there about 20 minutes ago. I'm like, damn, baby, you really look wonderful. Thank you. Too bad I can't say the same about you. I say, you can if you lied like I just did. I know this dude, you ain't laughing. If somebody beating on you, you okay? You better laugh or you mess around and fart. <laughs> Speaking of farting, you ever farted and it smelled so bad it made you embarrassed, but you was by yourself, you be like, God damn, I can't believe. I must have ate a scar or something, I can't. <laughs> you ever farted and it smelled so bad it made you think you was dying? You like, God damn, uh-uh, I can't believe. Don't no help in the smell like this. This some bullshit right there. And speaking of farting, y'all, women, I'm gonna go and get it, put it straight, put it out there. They say women don't fart, they poop. That's a goddamn lie. <laughs> I'm with my girl the other night. We riding home from Taco Bell. She let out the loudest fart I ever heard in my life. with me. I said, I don't mind y'all disagreeing, just don't be arguing in my damn car. <laughs> All that arguing sound like a bunch of shit to me. I'm gonna go out on a limb, y'all. <laughs> Do y'all realize, man, I've been trying to date, man, but I, I, I can't date the right people. I've been, I was dating this girl, man. Uh, you, you ever try to date a girl, but her, her kids were just bad as hell? You couldn't, you, you ever tried that, man? Her kids were just bad as hell. I'm with this girl, they at my house, man. She bring her bad ass kid over to my house. He take out a crayon and just start writing on my damn wall. I'm like, what the f are you doing? She said, he autistic, bitch. I don't give a damn how well he draw. I don't want this <laughs> writing on my goddamn wall. <laughs> hey, I'm, not, I'm telling you, they got some real, they talking about they got gangsters here in Birmingham. No damn gangsters here, them others or some of, I'm gonna tell you who got the, the Taliban. Them the real gangsters right there. <laughs> See, black dude, you might whoop my ass. You can, can be a gangster. You might whoop my ass. White dude, you might kill me. But you best believe who the police gonna be at your ass. <laughs> Not the Taliban, they'll come in here, blow this up and call the next day and claim responsibility. Now that's gangster right there. 
We can be in here getting our laugh on. All of a sudden, one of them running here butt naked with a backpack. The last thing you hear is, Father, la, 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 la! <laughs> Next day, your mama get a phone call. Ring, hello. I did it. <laughs> and I will do it again if you don't meet my demands. <laughs> I want more hours at BP. 